Hey y'all, this is TT with That's the Story. Oh my god. Well, hello, Mr. Summon. Can you turn off the light? Oh my god, I'm sitting out here trying to be sentimental with y'all. This gonna, I'm gonna melt like a marshmallow on a campfire, bitch. Bitch, you know us black bitches don't do the sun too long. Okay, so let me get this shit going. This is That's the Story. My email is www.tt2real. That's tt2real. That's the number two. R-E-A-L-L at gmail.com. Oh my god. It's so hot. It is so hot out here. What was I even thinking? Okay, so our first story comes from Brandon. Brandon says, hey TT, my name is Brandon and I need some advice. I have three girls and a nigga falling for me. But I swear that I'm having regular conversations with them. I'm not looking for a relationship, and I think I'm flirting too much. Can you help me figure this mess out? Well, Brandon, first of all, there is not a such thing as flirting too much. You can flirt as much as you motherfucking want to. If these motherfuckers taking your flirt in the wrong way, and they falling for you... Now, let me rewind that back. Now, if you telling them up front, oh, look. Y'all saw that bug? See, it's about time to go in. I'm trying to be cute, bitch. That is nothing, and you just flirting, and that's all it is, and you ain't looking for a relationship. Then they need to respect that and understand that you don't want shit. And if they getting in their feelings, falling for you, that's they fault. So you pulling niggas and bitches? Oh my god, <laughs> you the shit. <laughs> but no, ain't nothing wrong with flirting. Do what you do. If they falling for you, that's their fault. It's not your fault. Because you ain't sending off no mixed signals if you telling them up front, it's never going to be more. It's nothing more. And if you start liking me, then that's your fault. Because I don't want anything. Um, and that's what you do. I mean, and if you throwing the wood and the wood is good, I mean, <laughs> that ain't your fault. God blessed you with the stroke. You know what I'm saying? They just need to understand how to separate feelings from flirting okay so i mean do what you do and let it be that and that's all it is because them hoes need to learn it ain't gonna be more and that's your story them hoes better stop catching feeling shit okay so our next story comes from cameron it says hey tt my name is cameron and i'm a junior and i have a girlfriend that's a senior we've been dating for three years and right now it's been really rocky to the point where I started texting other females. So now it's this girl who I've gotten to know that's a freshman in college, and right now she's giving me all the things that I've been missing in my relationship. I wanna let her know that I thought I wanted something, but it was just temporary attention. What should I do? Well, first of all, let me tell you this. TT does not condone cheating. I hate cheating. I think cheating is just horrible. But, um, I mean, Y'all saw that hair flip. That's how that's how I be get that's how I get my boys. What's that? You are in the 11th grade and your relationships are going to have ups and downs. You're going to have problems where y'all may fuss, y'all may argue, y'all may not agree on things. You may want to rip her hair out of her head. She may want to rip your dick off your body, beat your ass. Y'all are going to go through those things. Things like that are going to happen. Look at me, y'all, I'm a motherfucking pretzel. That's what you call becoming comfortable. In relationships, people become comfortable. And so you start to drift off and look for new things. Like, you know, new sex or a new look or new friend or just a new type of conversation and that's what that girl gave you at the moment because you and your girlfriend were probably fussing and arguing and she's giving you everything like you said what you needed at that time and now you see that it's not where you want to be so shit that college that college click done got your motherfucking ass whoop no but just tell her be like look that's it it's nothing more nothing less i need to let this go and you leave it alone i always say tell your lover everything but sometimes if you didn't do anything, then you shouldn't tell your girlfriend that you dipped off and had a conversation. But if you did something, I think you need to tell your girlfriend what happened and let it be her choice if she wants to stay with you or not. And if she doesn't stay, then it's your fault because you made that mistake. Stick with your girl because obviously you're happy because you said you understand that it was nothing. That's your story. All right, y'all, so this next story, it's from Jordan are Tim Jordan. It says, hello, TT, how are you? This is Tim Jordan, and I have a problem. Okay, I've been dating this man for eight years. He loves me, and I love him. 
but one day he calls and says we can no longer date because he's been called to be a pastor of a church. Oh my God. They said he's been called to be a pastor of a church. I was like, really? Okay, whatever. But he still wants to have sex with me. And the wood is good, TT. But anywho, the wood is good, so they fucking. I think that would just make things worse for me. And on the other hand, I do have another man that wants to give me the world. Help me, TT. What should I do? Thanks and take care. Look, look, you little, look, you little heifer. You a little boy, too, Tim Jordan. This is what we gonna do. This is what we're gonna do. Okay, y'all, so what we're doing is, um, we're about to get this young man some help, okay? Hold on, many y'all. You see this? This is what you need to do. Okay, see, church starts at 9 a.m. And um, this is where we're going to be at because you are messing with a preacher. I got to get you together. You are messing with a preacher, child. Hallelujah. We're going to take him to Sunday. Sunday service is at 11 o'clock. It's over there. It says Sunday service at 11 o'clock. This is where you need to come and you need to repent because... What you are doing is not right. Now, see, I'm, I understand that he was blessed with the holy dick, but that holy dick is going to make you miss your blessings. You are messing with the pastor of the church. You can't sit up there and be first lady. You you just can't do that. You can't sit up there and be first lady with your top hat on and your white dress on Sundays with your little red fly. You can't sit up there and do that. Oh my gosh. You want to be up there beating that tambourine while he praising the Lord. And you a little boy. You, you, yeah. Yeah. His holy dick might be good, but you need to go on and go mess with that other young man who you say wants to give you the world. Let him give you the world because, baby, you playing with fire. Child, I'm sweating in this hot ass car thinking about your bad ass. Oh my God. You have lost your mind. You knew that man was trying to be a preacher and, and you trying to still fuck around on the fuck around. When you gonna get fucked up, leave that man alone. Leave that man alone and let him go do his word and you um go mind your business. Because baby, you, <laughs> bitch, I don't even know what to say to you. That's your story. You a little hot ass mess. That that is your story. Goodbye. Goodbye. Y'all, that little boy is putting on his sister's Easter Sunday dress to go fuck the pre <laughs> to go fuck the preach. Chap, that's a mess. Yes, why'd you hang up, Kilo? I hang up. Yes, you did. Oh, what's up? <laughs> what's up? What's up? What's up? I'm recording my YouTube video right now. Everybody. This is who keeps calling me. This is my little. Your YouTube video. Yes, y'all. This is Chris Brown. He keeps. <laughs> Chris Brown keep calling. <laughs> All right. So this last story is from Gia. It says, "My name is Gia." Okay. So, I've been in a relationship with this guy for six months now, and I really like him. The only thing is, he has a three-year-old daughter. I'm not upset about that because he told me straight up, and I chose to stay. But now this baby mama stuff is getting out of hand. Her and her daughter live in Jamaica. She put on Facebook that they were in a relationship. I saw it and told him to take it down. He said, okay. But I check a few days later and it's still there. So I was gonna let it go, but I need answers. And I asked again. She threatened to never let him see his daughter again if he took it off. He put a picture of her on IG, but not of me. He tells me he wants me in his life forever, but I don't know if he's entertaining this fake relationship with her or if he's using me as a space filler till she moves back to America. So, TT, I need help. What should I do? Let it go or confront him again? 
Gia, um, sweetie, on some real shit, he playing motherfucking, he's playing games. I would be like, I understand you love your daughter, and that that's understandable, but you are not in a relationship with her, and you either need to pick me or her, and that's just that. And if he loved you enough, he would say fuck her and do what the fuck he want to do. So, because posting her on, why you got to put her on your Instagram? It's supposed to be about your child. So, girl, he playing bullshit-ass games, and if I were you, I would go to him and be like, look, you need to let her out your life now, or I'm walking out. And if he still decides to choose her, then you got your answer, girl, and you need to get your shit, and you need to go before you keep getting drowned in that bullshit of his because that's all it is it's bullshit me i i, I would have left already but you know i can't tell you what to do because i don't know what goes on in the midst of all of that you know how you love him what y'all do what he say i don't know but me i would leave i would leave because you're not gonna put me second to nobody that was your past and i'm your present i'm sorry with a child or not um so, girl, I wish you the best of luck. I hope you can um, get some answers out of him or get him to prove to you that he likes you. But until then, girl, that's your story that you need to get fixed quick. But I love you. All right, y'all, so that's me, TT. Sorry this one was a little dry. I'm just outside, and, you know, these white people out here don't want me acting ratchet. But I don't get enough fat www.tt2real at gmail.com the next one will be turned the fuck up i'm just chilling and i'm gonna have some more stuff coming on this channel so um yeah be on the lookout for that and i love y'all it's tt bye